I'm gonna put some double tap in it. This double tap got me excited. Two rounds in one. Ten meter. Two hundred and thirty grains. We'll talk about this in the studio. This stuff is really hot and and you're shooting two projectiles at once. Yeah, I only got about six rounds left of this. So I wanna shoot slow and show you how it penetrates twice with one shot. Okay, here we go. Two bullets, one shot. I mean, that's awesome. Ten millimeter, baby. This gun is a perfect carry gun. Now that's a true double tap. Really cool. It shoots two projectiles at once. Let's go talk about the gun on the table. We have a lot talk about in this review on the Rock Island Armory new to their series this is the A1 Tech for Tactical Ultra 10 millimeter you know I'm a 10 millimeter buff I just took it to the range for the first time my adrenaline is still flying I am so excited about this gun we're talking about a commander size four and a quarter inch for those of you who are new by the way uh, we got three different sizes of 1911s, a three inch officer, four and a quarter, commander, and then the five inch government size. So we're looking at the middle size range gun here, perfect for carry. But we're talking about a gun that's made at a reasonable price, $750, $800 retail. You'll see it out there, talk to your local gun shop but i'll tell you right now this thing is a tank i mean the weight is 2.4 pounds unloaded so it's got high quality steel and i'm talking 4140 ordnance steel this was such a blast to shoot today i went through 200 rounds and i couldn't believe how quick they went by i was just having so much fun I showed you a little uh, glance of some shots just right there, and we got to talk about double tap. We got to talk about the gun. So let's get into it. First of all, you got a commander size. You got a four and a quarter 1911. So 1911s are 1.25 inches. They're basically a thinner gun. So this is good for concealment. Okay, thinner. Uh, keep specs in your mind when you're buying a gun. If it's too thick. It's gonna not be good for you for personal carry. So uh, 1911s are wonderful for personal carry. Uh, you wanna run them clean. You wanna keep them clean. And now as we go through this gun, I'm gonna go quick because I got a lot to talk. I have a lot to talk about. The gun is all hand fitted. After it comes back, uh, the, we know they're, they're made in the Philippines and then they're all hand fitted by Rock Island Arm Armory. We got a full length guide rod and I'm telling you this gun, the safety check gun, was flawless today and, and I, I can tell you a couple little tweaks here. I'll talk to you about the grips being loose after just banging out 10 millimeters 
and I'm going to tell you how to fix some of these little glitches, but they're not really glitches, they're just knowledge. Knowledge is power. So, let's talk about the sights first of all. They're adjustable on the rear. Out of the box, I found it to be a little shooting to the left. So I know next time I go to the range, no big deal. I'll just adjust it and, and get it shooting straight on. We'll look at some targets here in a moment. I was just having fun today. My adrenaline was flying, especially when I, I threw that uh, hollow point, double taps in there and shooting double, double rounds. Uh, just totally exciting. 10 millimeter, my favorite round, my favorite gun, 10 millimeter all around. Rock Island Armory bringing out high quality guns at reasonable prices. And here you get your adjustable rear sights plus the front sight. Tammy, look at that front sight. Okay. Go trying to buy a pair of Trijicon front sights and rear sights. You're looking at $125 there alone. This comes standard on the gun. These high-end front sights, which will keep you on top target, the fiber optic front sights. Now, the coating is a parkerized matte finish. So, you're looking at a coating, let's zoom in real quick at that. Tammy, zoom in there. And you can see the brass actually, a couple of hundred rounds today, already chopped it up a little bit there. So that's fine. This is a tool. This thing is a tank. This thing is designed to, and, and it was flawless, 200 rounds. This thing is designed to just take it. If you want a showpiece for uh, your, your shelf, uh, some, some shiny, glossy thing, this is not for you. If you want a tank that's going to shoot 10 millimeters, which has the ballistics of a 357 Magnum, then this is for you at, re at a reasonable price without breaking the bank. Your G10 grips this gun comes with are wonderful. I mean, they, you can really grip the gun, which you have to. It's got a kick. I'll tell you right now, this has got a punch to it. I'm, I'd be a liar if I said it doesn't have a punch to it. It's got a kick. And with the arms core my range ammo that i use for all my guns whether it be 10 millimeter or anything i use arms core because it's affordable with this ammo a kick it's 10 millimeter don't tell me this is a watered down 40 cal by the way uh this arms core 10 millimeter it's not this thing was blasting my wrist i mean this thing was shooting like a cannon with the arm score and uh, when I put the double tap in it it even kicked it up a couple of more notches we're going to talk about that more in a minute now back to the grips uh, it's came um, back home here in the studio and I noticed look you see the little wiggle there look at that so here's a tip um, you shooting this a cannon you know 10 millimeter use this stuff okay it's called loctite you might have heard of it make sure you don't get the glue use the thread locker blue color only blue thread locker on these little screws which i'll do afterwards but i wanted to show you both sides did come a little loose which is no big deal it's grips you can put any 1911 grips on here you want but that goes true for any gun uh, a little tip, and then you, of course you got your Allen wrench, and you just you tighten it up. But put you put this on the screw. Uh, that's the uh, that's about the worst I can say that happened to this gun today. Is the grips got loose because I mean, boom! I mean, this thing was shooting fire fire flames out two feet. Did you see the smoke coming out of it? It was just really exciting. So you got eight plus one rounds. So you're carrying nine rounds in a in a small package and a commander size gun so let's uh let's talk a little bit about this the double tap ammo okay because this is what i use for personal self-defense tell me zoom in on that it's called the equalizer equal let's say equal means two we can call think of it that way and um jacketed hollow point 
and the 10 millimeter at over a thousand feet per second out of a five inch barrel this is a four and a quarter but this thing is shooting these 10 millimeters and and double two bullets we're going to do a whole separate video on double tap i'm going to be flying out there doing gel test and now let's look at the destruction the 10 millimeter does okay i was getting excited and i was just kind of that was just kind of shooting away but that is one pull of the trigger right there boom boom double tap awesome isn't that awesome modern technology where at 21 feet i was at exactly 21 feet boom 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 see that how modern technology keeps the two projectiles so tight and um you know these are just some different targets okay some other guy shot that one no, i'm only kidding but look boom 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 really awesome technology with double tap so keep that in mind the gun was flawless it just obliterates everything in its way the 10 millimeter and uh I, I tell you, I wouldn't want to be behind one of these rounds. So the gun itself comes with two mags. You're going to see this on Rock Island Armory's site under the TAC series. You go to 10 millimeter. You will see this gun there, the 10 millimeter which please zoom in if the camera can pick this up if not i'll read it to you it's the ms m is in mary s is in sam tech 2 that's the key words and they have different series numbers but they're pretty much all the same except for the serrations here the serrations on this particular one I have are tight, which, which no problem. Um, they have one that's got thicker serrations. You may want that one. So search their website, and they you want to go to the TAC series and just hit the Ultra MS 10 millimeter, and you're right on track. You've got a skeletonized trigger, which which is light as a feather. And when I mean it goes bang when you touch it, take a look here. See that? Oh. Hey, you lefties? MB safety. There you go. Plus that's good for righties too. Because when you're pulling it out of your holster, you can push it up with your index finger or, or your thumb. Either way, it's nice having an ambi safety on a single action gun awesome because you want to carry this gun like this cocked and locked and have it locked on both sides and accessible to unlock it on both sides gosh let's move on awesome you've got a serrated hammer also the safety on the back was absolutely no issues the rear serrations are phenomenal and the front is kind of straight up and down just a little bit just to give you enough of a grip but these g10 grips they kind of feel like I, I call them like slate the feeling of slate you see how your thumb fits right there for that mag release and the mag does pop right out and speaking of the mag these seem to be proprietary mags, so you got to get them from Rock Island Armory because I tried all my different 10 millimeter mags, everything from Wilson Combat to uh, 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 Kimber and things like that. But these mags have the rubber on the bottom, which I like. And the Rock Island Armory, the two mags that it came with, are the only ones that fit this gun. So you're going to want to stock up on these. And that rubber on the bottom is great. For smacking it in just great and uh it's tight the slide 
the finish is tight and it's got a really strong spring. I mean, this is a 10 millimeter. This is a man's gun. This is not, this is, how do I phrase this? You know, this is not for someone who's brand new at guns and you just want to take a gun out and I'll shoot it once at the range and I'll carry it for the rest of my life. This is a cannon. This is a 10 millimeter 357 ballistics cannon, especially when you're shooting something like this out of it. These double taps, modern technology, shooting two projectiles at once. We'll do a separate video on this. I'm flying out the double tap to do gel test on something really special. That's going to come out in the future. This company, Double Tap, by the way, they're grossing over $50 million a year. They're taking over the self-defense ammo industry. And uh, Rock On Armory is taking over the 1911 industry in this price bracket. By far, $750 retail. There you go. There's my review. I'm just a little, I'm a little overwhelmed on how great it is for the money. I tell you, sights, steel, commander size. It's got a punch. You got to be ready for it. You got to man up to it. You got to practice with it. I'm telling you now, you got to have 60% on your right hand, 40% on your right hand, left hand, and you got to man up to it and shoot it. Okay? It's not like you're going to limp rest this thing. You're going to have problems if you do that. You want to keep it clean. And then you got a winner. You got it? Throw your comments in below. I hope you had fun watching this because I had fun recording it. You're all my friends. Ring that bell. Subscribe. Ring the bell. I need help here with everything going on with censorship. Ring the bell. Thank you, my friends. Bye-bye.